Welcome back, guys. I know I've been on quite a long hiatus, but I thought it'd be really fun to come back to a video where I'm doing work for a commission. This is the Garbage Pail Kids Last Supper that was commissioned this past week, and uh, I've been working on it for days now. And um, of course, I started painting and then realized, oh man, I, I should be recording this because I'm not doing anything else, so why not and give you guys a video because it has been far too long. So basically, I'll just give you a rundown of my process. I first drew a sketch while I will I'll insert here so you can see uh, how rough it started. Uh, and then I scanned it into the computer and drew each character on its own layer so that I can kind of push them together and figure out where everyone's place was that I could have everyone in there and yet it would still, it wouldn't look cramped and each character could kind of shine. Um, when it was commissioned, you know, originally the idea was to have everybody behind the table like in The Last Supper. But what I soon realized was this the size of this illustration board is literally the size of a comic book cover. So because it is smaller, I didn't want anyone to be so small that basically it was all background and no character. So I moved two characters to the front, um, Dead Ted on the right, because I thought it'd be funny for him to come up through the ground. And uh, TV Stevie, just because he's really cute and I just felt like his adorable little nest needs to be kind of more toward the front because he's one of my favorites. Um, so anyway, I painted this in uh, acrylic gouache and actually when I started, like I was saying, I, I did the um, sketch and then I did a finalized version um, and then I printed it out so that I could transfer my finalized drawing from the computer onto this board. I put down an acrylic wash of like a neon and a red color that I mixed together. It's kind of my own little concoction. And then I, I went through and added a couple like darker layers to go for a little bit of shadowing just for myself because obviously I wanted the light to be coming from the explosion in the middle. Um, so once I got it transferred and then, you know, I had the brilliant idea to start recording, um, the first thing I did was mix up skin tone because I knew that most of the kids have similar skin tones so I put down the skin tone first and then you know obviously I do you'll see I'm doing everything in kind of like one character at a time now I did outline everything in black marker first that's something I recently started doing when I use gouache um, and this is acrylic gouache so it doesn't pick back up when you um, put another color on top of it mostly I did it just because I wanted to have a thick outline that I could see easy and then what I started doing was just drawing back over the outline after I had finished the painting and it was just because I kind of liked the look of it. Um, I like dark outlines when I do any kind of work typically um, and sometimes I've noticed using gouache over, I, I do mixed media but using gouache over using Copics I get color down quicker. Um, Sometimes I do start with Copic first and then add gouache, but with something like this, it's a little bit larger. Like I said, it's the size of the comic book. Um, so I wanted to make sure that I was getting paint down quickly so that I can do details and things on top. Um, so aside from the marker to outline, I also use colored pencils sometimes. I did, I went very lightly with colored pencils on here because I felt like the colors popped in the end really well and I was really happy with the results. So I cut about four and a half hours worth of work of just of painting down to about 12 minutes. So um, enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm going to jump back in here. Um, this particular character, Dead Ted, is literally my nemesis. He's one of the most popular characters when I paint uh, ornaments. He's one that always pops up. Him, Nasty Nick, Adam Bomb, the three of them are like literally everyone's favorite choice. Uh, for a long time, Dead Ted has been my nemesis. This was the easiest time I painted him. And I don't know why. I don't know if it's because I've done it so many times now. It became second nature. I don't know if I just like have a plan in my head and I just automatically execute. But he's one of the most complex colored characters because basically he just has these highlights and he's kind of like just dark coming out of like the dirt and grime and um, this was by far the quickest and my most favorite time that I have painted him and I just had to put that note in there. So this is kind of fun. I started painting all these uh, little things on the floor. I thought there'd be a little bit of trash on the floor. Um, ironically, there's a cupcake on the floor because I don't know if you'll know this, uh, some of my newer followers, but one thing I did was always hide um, a pink uh, cupcake with a blue wrapper in a lot of my drawings. It was how I signed um, my name in the past. It's even on my business cards. So of course I had to throw that little cupcake in there as my little signature. Um, but I painted the little trash on the floor and I realized it's all very clean and it would probably not be as clean, but I didn't want to keep painting over it. So I thought when I did the wash on the floor, which you're seeing right now, um, I could just kind of add, uh, and I had watered this part of the gouache down a lot um, to get like a nice um, glaze or, you know, like a thin down version of the, of the gouache. And I also went over the cracks that I had put down too, because I wanted there to be some depth. So when I put down the darker, um, I put dark, darker on top of it again, um, but there still, should still be like a little highlight of the undertone peeking out as well, and that was what I was going for. So with painting the background, I really wanted to make the characters pop. So I tried to go with very neutral. Um, I also tried to, I think, keep to the original, like Last Supper, I had looked at um, a really nice version of it, which is probably was color, had been color corrected, but I tried to go with a couple of the tones from the original, um, but I definitely wanted to keep it muted so that, and you know, keep the dark to behind the characters because I really really wanted them to pop like they're the most important thing you get the idea you know what it is um, and then in the background of the original is a very similar um, like behind the main character here which is Adam Bomb but behind Jesus in the original is um, this very like nice pastel landscape and I just thought how funny and like what a difference it would be from these kind of like very saturated um kids and and then have this very bright pastel background but then also you have the nice dark you know squares behind them so they they really kind of pop from that and then of course I started outlining I didn't want to bore you with you seeing me outline every single thing but um yes so I I'm going back over I use a number five for the around or I'm sorry a five liner for around the actual kid and then um, inside their faces uh, is smaller details um, so I go with the three or an O3 and then I have a very tiny brush uh, that I use to add little pupils and there you go little white highlights on their face um, yeah and that's that's about it we're pretty much wrapping up here but uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to mention 
I also, by the way, chose to do hot dogs. I don't know why. I like it was the first thing that came to my mind because I was doing this on Fourth of July. So I thought, oh, hot dogs must be that's what they would be eating. And I don't know if you can tell, but the one that um, Dead Ted is holding is being a little burnt by Fry and Ryan back there. I just thought that was a nice touch. And of course, the squeezing of the bottles of condiments. I just thought that was hilarious because, of course, they would be making a mess. That's what they do. They're garbage pail kids. So I'm just going to add a couple little extra highlights. Um, there is a point too where I pull out the colored pencils and then I start adding um, a little more shading, but I didn't go too crazy, like I said, because I just really didn't want to overdo it. Um, I thought it kind of all spoke for itself, like the colors really popped. I definitely did a little bit of work on the comic book, which is right now. Um, I wish I had was able to see more on the card of the comic books that he has, so I just kind of like winged it and thought what it would look like. Here we are coming into the final stretch of this piece. I'm really proud of it. I love the way it came out. Um, I really want to thank you guys too for joining me again. I know it's been a while. I hope. While I'm on a little bit of downtime from work, I have a couple more videos I can make and upload for you. But in the meantime, I'll see you back at the drawing board.